Tonight, some intriguing medical news about women and their health, about the maddening hot flashes in menopause, and what these hot flashes may mean for the health of your heart. Juju Chang on what doctors are learning. Just got here. Yeah, no. The hot I flash. Know. Hollywood sees it as a telltale omen that strikes fear into aging women. I spoke to not so fearful women today at the JCC Manhattan. It comes from the inside out, and you feel like you're wrapped in cellophane. It sort of feels like when my hormones change, fasten your seatbelt, we're in for a ride. But researchers believe that pink flush may have a silver lining. The hot feeling is triggered by hormonal changes. The brain sends messages to blood vessels on the surface of the skin to dilate. But one doctor wondered what's happening to other blood vessels deep within the body. Could what's happening in the skin be a window into what's actually happening in the heart and blood vessels related to the heart? Researchers examined data from 60,000 women over 10 years and found women who get hot flashes early in their menopause sequence have less risk of heart attack and less risk of dying from heart attacks as well. The interplay between hot flashes and night sweats and future cardiovascular risk and menopause is much more complex than we thought it was before. We just need more research. Which just might be good news for a miserable symptom of age. Juju Chang, ABC News, New York. So our medical editor, Dr. Rich Besser, is here. What does this say to you, Rich? Well, you know, menopause is a time of increasing risk for heart disease. And we know that heart disease is the number one killer of women. So this is a perfect time to take a look at your health and to take a look at your lifestyle. If you're a smoker, you can try again to stop smoking. You can look at your diet and exercise and know that small changes there are going to improve the quality of your life and the length of your life. So think of the hot flashes as a wake-up call of some kind. That's right. But if you have really debilitating hot flashes, as we know, they're so tough for a yeah. lot of women. What's the newest thing on treating it? Well, there, you know, you don't have to suffer. You should talk to your doctor. I've been on the phone all day with women's health experts, and they all continue to use hormone therapy in some women with debilitating symptoms for short periods of time. So you should talk to them. What's a short period? No more than three years. Three years. Yeah. All right. Good to see you tonight, Rich. Thank you.